Day with Andrew O'Connor. Thank you. Yeah, it sounds good at home, that clapping, doesn't it? But there's just one man doing it there on his own. <laughs> so I'd like to share with you... Hello, welcome to Family Catch. I want to share with you some, um, some of my wisdom, things I've learnt. I have learnt that if you drive on the wrong side of the road, people open their eyes wider than ever. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> and I have learnt the more intelligent you are, I have learnt the more intelligent you are, the easier it is for you to be distracted by... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet the contestants. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Gloria, tell me all about Gavin. Gavin is 15 years of age. He's my son. He goes to Minster College and the Isle of Sheppey. He's a very generous young man. No, give he us a fiver. He <laughs> likes baking. Baking? Yes, he makes a wonderful sponge and lovely shoe paste. So what, is he generous with his baking, is he? And money. And money? <laughs> right, okay. So I should tap him now for a loan. Yeah, tap him for a few bob. <laughs> tell me about your mum, then. This is my mum, Gloria. Um, she's 148 years old, <laughs> and that's being kind. <laughs> Oh, he is generous, isn't he? Yes, You're right, hey. yeah. <laughs> She's a reflexologist for a living. You're a reflexologist? Yes, Boo! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your reflexes. <laughs> and she studies graphology, so if ever she does your handwriting, I'll redirect it to the police. <laughs> Nice, isn't it? Nice. I should well, send him off now. No, listen, actually, Gloria, I've, what I've done is that I've, I've, I was told this, so I've, been, I've asked one of the crew members, I've asked someone <laughs> in this building to write down, Mary had a little lamb on a bit of paper here, you see. I've written it down. So if you want to, um, I've got one to do it. So if you want to just have a little look and tell me what, uh, will it take long or can you do it instantly? Well, you can do a bit of it instantly. Okay, go on then. <laughs> well, this person likes, um, they like to challenge, yes. they, they like to do things, yes. uh, they're quite sexy, <laughs> uh, quite a big sex drive. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> they also like to uh, look after people. Yes. Because they find that uh, they have to be protective, you know, they like an umbrella, they like to protect their own. Right. So, so who is it? It's me. Oh! Well. <laughs> and Gloria and Gavin. I'll take that now. <laughs> Hello, Susan. How, How are, are you? you? How are you? Susan, tell me about Ben. Uh, Ben's 14. He goes to a Cranbrook Grammar School. He's a very keen guitarist and uh, keep fit person. He does Taekwondo and uh, plays rugby. And uh, his party trick is playing the guitar with his teeth. Really? <laughs> Why is that funny? That's, well, that's funny. Would you take him out or would you do it with him? I just play Hendrix normally. Yeah, Hendrix. So tell me about your mum then. That's my mum, Susan. Uh, she likes to sing and dance in pantomimes. Uh, she's a keen tennis player. Is there a slight, can, is there a slight, where are you from? Is there a slight sort of accent with the Canada. Two? Canada, okay, so I'll carry on. Um, <laughs> you could have said, you could have said, this is my son, we're from Canada, that's interesting, isn't it, you see? We're from Canada, that's interesting. You You're the first person to mention it. Well, ever in your whole life? <laughs> <laughs> or just today? Just today. Okay, right, carry on then. Pantomimes? Uh, she's a nanny for a living. Right. Um, uh, my father, her husband, is going to be a priest. And uh, she opens bo um, beer bottles with her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and you say that till last. Your mother, hold on, your father's about to become a priest, yeah. and your mother opens beer bottles with the teeth. Yeah. That'll be a wow at church <laughs> social, <laughs> right? <today. laughs> must be, must be, um, great in your family. She goes, stop playing the guitar, pass me the teeth, I want to open a bottle of beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our contestants. <laughs> Well, this is true. My mother-in-law, my mother-in-law writes books on knickers and her husband's a vicar. <laughs> it's a limerick writer's dream. It's true, that. OK. Just thought I'd tell you that bit of uh, O'Connor news. Now then, are you excited about, are you excited about this? Yes. You should be, because you can win yourself this. A stunning hot air balloon ride and a brace of his and hers racy mountain bikes. Oh! oh. <laughs> See, that'd be good for you. The vicar and his wife on a bike. Perfect. Now, we show you catchphrases, you guess what they are, it's simpler. However, first of all, we've got to find out how much each of those catchphrases is worth. So, Gloria and Gavin, hit the number chase button because you won the toss. Hold on. Fifteen! Very good. Well, it's not really easy, actually. It's not very hard, is it? But I get excited sometimes. OK, we showed the catchphrases. Don't forget, you cannot buzz in until you hear this noise. And if you hear this noise... It means it's time to get out of bed. 
you ever get the impression that you're doing jokes to no one? <laughs> Here's the first catchphrase. Wait for the bell. Susan and Ben. Crying over spilt milk. He's absolutely right. Crying over spilt milk. <laughs> and you jump into a 15 lead. It's very exciting. And you get the first cut, of the bonus. The bonus is worth 50. All right, worth 50. So uh, behind those nine squares is the bonus catchphrase. Hit your knob thing and take one of the squares away. <laughs> Middle right. Take it away, please. Five seconds. What is it? Mm. Puffy clouds. Puffy clouds. I like that. Ben, you can talk, can't you? <laughs> yeah. If you want to join in, just feel free. You know, if you want to join us at any point, we'd like it because your accents are very good. It's nice, you see. Adds a bit of colour to the show, doesn't it? Yeah. Talk to myself. Here's a catchphrase. <laughs> Susan's got it. Dress circle. It is dress circle. <laughs> Gloria, Gavin, what's happening? What's going wrong? What is it? <laughs> what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you, you just come to be on telly, have you? Just <laughs> understand there. Just, just to look see good. you. Just to see me. That would do it. <laughs> All right, Susan and Ben, get got the bonus here. You want the middle square if you can get it? <laughs> no, middle top. That could help you. Take it away. Five seconds. What is it? Um, I will always understand you. Well, it's nice to hear it. <laughs> but it's got nothing to do with this catchphrase. But thank you for joining in. Now, Gloria, I'd like to hear from you this time. Yeah. Okay, now you're just looking colourful. You've got to get this right. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Susan and Ben. Mark my words. Of course it is. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Susan on Catchphrase. <laughs> Yes, it's just me and Susan every week for the next 15 years. <laughs> Playing catchphrase, something to look forward to, I think you'll find. Take away a square then, Susan. <laughs> Top right, let's move that. Five seconds, what is it? I will never understand the young people of today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you come on the show to give us all a lecture, you just... <laughs> Waffling old woman of that. Nothing. No, very good. <laughs> Here comes another one. <laughs> Gloria and Gavin. Down on the farm. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first English contestants I've ever seen clap themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, because you're all excited. Good. You're getting up the bonus now, fellas. It's uh, worth 35. Now, it's got nothing to do with youngsters of today and not understanding them and waffling on. It's to do with a sort of a well-known catchphrase. So, take away a square. <laughs> Middle left. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? Don't understand old people. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Listen, have you seen the audience? Here's another catchphrase. <laughs> Susan and Ben. More than meets the eye? Yeah. We called it family catchphrase so we can get some younger people on, Gavin and Ben, who so far haven't said anything during the whole time. I want you to just pull your socks up here. You get another cut of the bonus, which is worth 30 now, Susan. Try and keep your answer under 100 words if possible. <laughs> Bottom left, get rid of it. Five seconds, what is it, Susan and Ben? Old Flame. He's right. <laughs> So, you see, Ben doesn't say a lot, but when he does, it counts. <laughs> Has that been true his whole life, Susan? Yes. He's going to be a barrister, he says, when he grows up, so I think it's a, a good trait. So you, can pay off your, so you can pay off your overdraft that you're going to have right. with your husband when he's a vicar. <laughs> All right, 90 plays, 15, you're in the lead. It gets good now because we're going to play solo shoot. So, Gavin, you're under pressure to get a catchphrase now, mate. You're going to play on your own against Ben. Now, first of all, Ben, hit the number chase button and find out how much his catchphrase is worth, please. <laughs> 100. <laughs> the maximum. This game is almost too exciting for words now. <laughs> don't laugh, Gavin, I'm being serious. How dare <laughs> you? Gavin, you're the only person who hasn't got a catchphrase so far. I don't want you to feel under any pressure. 
but all your friends are watching. <laughs> and if you don't get if you don't get one the whole show, they'll keep fast forwarding to your bits where you fail to get one. It'll be really <laughs> embarrassing. Okay, guys, here's your first solo shoot catchphrase. You're on your own, wait for the bell. Gavin! Sleepwalking. Yes! And Gavin, you got in the lead. <laughs> Way. <laughs> I think he's taking the Mickey now, do you? <laughs> I think he's taking the Mickey. You get a, a brand new bonus. The new bonus is worth a hundred now, Gavin. So take away one of the Way. Bottom left. Remove it, please. Five seconds. What is it? The box. What? The box. The box. Yeah. Now you're back to your old form now, Gavin. <laughs> OK, over to Gloria and Susan. Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Susan, you didn't wait for the bell. Over to Gloria. What is it? Pound of flesh. It is pound of flesh. Well done. Further in the lead. <laughs> 215 plays 90. <laughs> oh, I bet you could kick yourself, couldn't you, Susan? Oh, dear me. All right, you've got the bonus now, uh, Gloria. So take away a square for me. It's worth 90 now. <laughs> Top left. Remove it, please. It's gone. Five seconds. What is it? Life at the top. 